too long But I don't wanna come down Caught up in a long free fall You got me off of the ground Alam ko saan titingin dito ba o dito? Dapat dito, right? Hello mga horror! This is Luisa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this vlog guys, this is gonna be another travel vlog and we are going to explore Sikihor and Dumaguete. But first, we are going to explore the Sikihor and guys, kararating lang namin dito sa may accommodation namin sa Sikihor. So parang whole day na kami nagta-travel talaga from Manila. So yun, if you're also coming from Manila and you want to visit the Sikihor uh, island, uh, you need to book a flight uh, from Manila going to Dumaguete. And from Dumaguete, uh, mag-book na lang kayo ng Grab Trike. Yes, guys, Grab Trike. Papuntang uh, Dumaguete Port. Then from the port, bibili na lang kayo ng um, ticket nyo. Uh, it's either via uh, Ocean Jet, uh, Fast Cut ata yun, and Montenegro. So kami yun abutan na namin is pang 2 p.m. na... Um, na boat ride via uh, Montenegro. So ilalagay ko na lang sa screen kung magkano uh, yung fare uh, nun. And yeah guys, uh, pagdating nyo dito sa may uh, Sikihor uh, port naman, uh, paglabas nyo, kung marunong kayong magmotor, madami nag-offer doon ng motorbike uh, rental. So depende na lang yung price. Kasi kami, uh, may nabook na kami sa Facebook. So of course, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box kung saan namin nabook yung uh, motorbike uh, na yun. And yeah guys, it's already uh, almost 5 in the afternoon. Kakarating nga lang nga namin diba, dito sa may accommodation namin. So we're staying here at the Golden uh, Sunset Inn dito sa may uh, Lalao, dito sa may uh, San Juan uh, Sikihor. So yeah, I think later we're gonna do a room tour and a little bit of a property tour siguro. No? So ayan, ayan, meron pool dito sa likod. So dito ako nagpa-vlog. <laughs> Muna. And yeah guys, after na to, kain muna kami kasi gutom na kami talaga. Halos buong araw na kaming abo mabiyahe dito. The bench. So yun guys, we're gonna update you later. Bye! So anyways guys, since magkagabi na, mag-property tour na pala tayo. Tapos a room tour na uh, after. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so let's start here. So meron silang pool. So maliit lang to, but at least meron, um, ba? So ayan, meron siyang uh, paglas dito. Parang yung sa uh, Tagaytay na, na, na nag-staycation ako before. Ayan, ito lang din yung oras ng um, pool nila. 
And ito guys, yung itsura sa labas ng rooms. Ayan, ang ganda. Parang may hawig siya sa mga um, resorts sa Bohol. So, it's nice. Tapos yung office nila or yung reception area nila is nasa labas lang, which is along the road lang ng San Juan. So, yeah. Let's proceed. Ayan, may mga pahalaman sila dito. Ayan, it's nice. There's our room. We're at room 4. Annyeong! Welcome to our room, guys. So, ayan, yung mga gamit namin. Palad. Meron siyang kettle, no? And mugs, which is binabayo pala. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so ito yung bed. Double bed lang siya. Okay na din. And yeah, yung mga saksakan. Actually, yun lang. May aircon. May fan din sila. And there's the CR. May shower. And salamin dito. And yeah, yeah. Yung meron sila guys is hand soap lang. So make sure to bring your own toiletries. Diba? And of course, tissue with hopefully bidet yung meron. So yeah. That's it for the room tour dito sa my Golden Sons of Inn. So guys, yeah, nalabas mo na kami ni Bench para kumain. So meron ditong restaurant or cafe ata to sa may Katabilang, which is one of the uh, recommended cafes din dito uh, sa Sigur. Natuwa nga kami kasi katabi niya lang. So may, makikita niyo. So, yeah. Check muna natin. So yun guys, if you're also uh, going to choose yung uh, Golden Sunset Inn, pwede kayo pumunta dito sa may beach area na to. Which is uh, tawid lang ng uh, resort nila. Here's our food here at Tauhai. So we only ordered uh, the garlic shrimp. So this is worth 260 pesos ata guys. So good for sharing naman na. So isang ulam lang yung kinuha namin. So yeah, early dinner na namin to kasi it's already 5 uh, past 5 in the afternoon. So yeah guys, let's eat! Uy, ang gundo! Guys, look at that sunset. Oh my god. That is so awesome. Ang ganda, grabe. Wow. dito guys. Ayan, ang puti niya. And pino rin, no? Ayan, grabe ganda. Wow. Uh, nandito din pala yung fantasy na resort. Ayan siya. 
beachfront and they also have a bar over there. So this is probably the highlight of our day, especially the sobrang haba ng biyahe namin ngayon. So it's really nice na makakita ng ganitong uh, sunset dito sa City Hall. I hope you guys uh, love it as well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yan. Ito yung chura ng Tauhau Tauhai Cafe and Rest though, guys. Kapag kape. Kanda. La, sa sama na sa. Good morning. It's our official day one here in Sikihor. And it's currently uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. So, gumising kami ng maaga para makapunta kami sa mga spots na pupuntahan namin ng mas maaga and less uh, pila. So, for today, yung first adventure na pupuntahan namin is Kampugahay Falls. So, we're gonna update you guys uh, later. And later na rin pala kami magbe-breakfast kasi we need to get there ng mas maaga sana. Alright? So, see you guys later. Bye! guys, update. So, it's already uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. And, nandito na kami sa my entrance ng Kambagahay Falls. So, yung opening niya is 8 a.m. pa. So, yan. Yeah, Paaga kami ng 1 hour. But, that's actually a good thing. Kasi, mamaya, marami ng tao dito. And, gusto namin, pagpunta namin mamaya sa my falls area, medyo less pa yung tao. Kasi, it can get really crowded. Especially na, it's one of the uh, major tourist spot dito sa my Siki Hor. So, yun guys, hopefully later may mga nagbebenta na sana ng mga pagkain dito na kasi medyo gutom na ako. So, a little bit of snack kasi later magbe-breakfast naman kami ng proper breakfast. So, yun guys, uh, from San Juan or from dun sa accommodation namin sa Golden Sunset in medyo yung biyahe is around 34 minutes. Siya using a motorbike. So, ayun, malayo-layo siya kaya it's very uh, nice kung pupunta kayo dito daw mas maaga talaga kasi malayo din yung um Biyahe. And of course, careful na lang kayo kapag magmamotor tayo, ha? So yun guys, uh, we're gonna update you later kapag papaba na kami doon sa Falls area. Bye! So anyways guys, while waiting, um, let's go through doon sa mga pre-arrival expenses pala namin dito sa may Sikihor and dumagete din na trip. So first one, you need to book around trip flight going to Dumaguete. So yung binayaran ko lang is around 2,746. So included na doon yung uh, baggage na 20 kilos round trip kasi madami kaming bit-bit. And for the uh, accommodation dito sa Maysiki Hor, nagstay kami sa Golden Sunset Inn for 3 nights. So we only paid 3,374 via Agoda. So that's 1,687 per pax for 3 nights. So not bad. Super mura na siya. And for the Dumaguete naman, so i-discuss ko na lang to once na napunta na kami sa Dumaguete. So, yun guys, uh, we also rented a motorcycle dito sa may um, Siki Horse. So, that's 1,200 for 3 days. So, 400 a day. Mas okay kasi siya kasi kung tricycle kayo, I think mas hassle and mas magastos. And it's easier to uh, get around dito sa island kapag mag-rent kayo ng um, motorbike. As long as marunong kong mag-drive. So sa badge naman marunong mag-drive. So it's not gonna be a problem for me. Navigator lang ako. So yun, other than that, uh, pag napunta pala kayo guys sa may Dumaguete Airport, sakay na lang kayo ng tricycle or you can actually use your Grab app. Mag-book kayo ng Grab trike papuntang uh, port ng Dumaguete. So, binayaran lang namin ni 79 pesos. So, not bad. Very mura na siya. Tapos, uh, pagdating nyo sa may port ng Dumaguete, bilhin nilang kayo ng tickets. So, it's either via fast cut 
Montenegro Lines or yung Ocean Jet. Yung binayaran namin sa may uh, Montenegro Lines is 246 per pack siya. So guys, may schedule yun, no? So check nyo na lang online kung ano yung schedule nila. You may also book your uh, tickets online then. But, uh, buti nga kami, hindi kami nag-book kasi na-delay yung flight namin sa Cebu Pacific kahapon. So, yun, that's why around 2.30 na kami nakaalis ng port ng Dumaguete. So, yun, very sayang uh, talaga. And other than that, meron silang 15 pesos na terminal fee sa may uh, port ng Dumaguete. Each... And yun na, pagdating yun na ng Sikihor, it's either uh, you're gonna ride a tricycle papunta dun sa may San Juan That uh, was at us, 300 pesos guys, kasi malayo din siya, around 30 minutes din yung biyahe From port ng Sikihor papunta ang accommodation namin sa may San Juan Or mag na lang kayo ng motorbike uh, from the Sikihor uh, port, kasi meron namang nga nag-offer doon So that's it for now, we're gonna update you guys later Guys, it's his birthday today. Right. Happy birthday, Ho. Thanks, vlog. <laughs> Thanks, vlog. What's your wish for today? A good weather and a fun and a trip. Yay! <laughs> They have 20 pesos maintenance fee and here's their closing time, guys. Take note of that. Oh my god. Can you hear that? So yun, easy lang yung pababa. I think yung pataas yung mahirap. Mamaya, ayan guys. Ito yung pagawa. May pausa dito. Go down. Oh gosh. Can you hear that? There's the Kambaga High Falls. Go down. Wow. Yan, so far, konti pa yung tao. Right now. So guys, ito pala yung falls dito. Sa baba, ito siya. Meron din dito sa taas. Over there and one over uh, there. So pwede rin kayo magbaon ng picnic dito. Tapos magpicnic kayo. Yeah. Oh, look at it guys. So nice. Update. Here's Kuya Alvin pala. So if you're going to uh, Kambogahay Falls and walang magpicture or video sa inyo, 
sa kanya kayo magtanong. Ayan, expert siya sa human drone uh, na video and pwede rin kayo magpa-picture sa kanya. So yung pilang naman is 100 for the balsa. Tapos tip na lang yung sa photographer and videographer niyo. So ayan guys, that's all. Bye! So guys, tapos na kami dito sa may Kambogahay Falls. So akit na kami. So we can have our breakfast. At ito lang naman yung aakitin nyo. Roar. Oh my god. Kaya na rin ba? Hindi na lang. So dito kami kakain sa may 24. Sa taas lang siya ng entrance ng Kambagahay Falls guys. Here's our breakfast here at 24. So this is the beef steak with onions and coffee of course. Sa bench, yung in order niya is pork kumba. So that's worth 160. Ito naman is 170. Let's eat guys. So guys, our next destination is here at Lazi uh, Church. So, malapit lang siya sa Kambogahay Falls. So, it's just, it's just a few minutes uh, ride. So, yun. Uh, daanan nyo siya kasi ang ganda ng church na to, guys. So, let's check it out. Lazi Church is one of the oldest churches in the island of Sikihor. And right beside it is an equally old and silent convent. This church is also known as the San Isidro Labrador Parish which is a Roman Catholic church and was built in stone and hardwood by our Filipino artisans. The present stone church was built in 1884 followed by the bell tower in the following year. And so guys, we're still here at Lazi. So tapos na kami mag-picture doon and drone shot sa may uh, Lazi church. Ngayon naman, nandito tayo sa may tapat which is uh, Heritage Church and Heritage Museum Convent. So, mayroong 20 pesos na um, entrance fee uh, dito. So, not bad naman na. So, it's just for the maintenance fee. So, we're gonna check it out as well. So, let's go! Now inside at the museum. Let's check her first. Convent. Convent pala. Museum convent nga. Wow. Ah, so, museum no? Yeah, museum convent siya. Ah, talaga. Okay. Yeah. So, ganda dito. Mag side trip kayo dito guys. The Convent of Lazi Sikihor. So hi guys, update! It's already 12.30 in the afternoon. So katatapos lang namin ng pictorial dito sa may uh, convent. So balik muna kami ng San Juan sa may accommodation namin para magpahinga ng konti tapos adventure ulit namin. So we're gonna update you guys later. Hi! So guys, nandito ako sa may Tauhay. <laughs> so ayan, mabili ako ng cake so I can surprise the birthday boy. Ayan. Kasama si ate sa pag-surprise dito. <laughs> hi! Sayanity. Hopefully, successful siya. <laughs> see? So, guys, final look ng cake. Let's see. Sana may surprise siya. So, guys, ito na yung katotohanan. Let's see if mas surprise siya. Let's go! Knock, knock. Bukas yan. Saan mo? Bukas yan. Hey! Come on! 
Hey. Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank <laughs> oh my <you>. god! Wow. <laughs> thank I you. guess! <laughs> oh my thank god! You, thank you! Yay! Happy 20th birthday! 20th? Wow, Bro! Thank you. Oh! Sige, sige. Blow the candle na! <laughs> Blow the thank candle you. na po, tapos mag wish na! Thank you, thank you so much! You're welcome! Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> Hello mga horror update! It's already 3.45 in the afternoon. So nakapag-wash up lang kami. And of course, new outfit uh, tayo. So papunta muna kami ngayon ng St. Francis of Assisi Church. Then after that, pupunta ka is kami ng runic. Then doon na kami mag-spend uh, ng uh, afternoon namin. And hopefully catch the sunset as well. So yeah guys, see you there. Bye! Guys, update! We're finally here at Saint Francis Assisi Church. So, papakita namin sa inyo kung ano yung nasloob. St. Francis of Assisi Church is an old Roman Catholic church located in the municipality of Sikihor. It is the first and oldest parish founded in the province and from which other churches in this island were founded. It is also known as Sikihor Church. This church has a very simple facade and is constructed from rough whitish coral stones. Also guys, this church is about 5 minutes walk from the Sikihor port and in front of it is a small park where you can also see the welcome to Sikihor horse signage and definitely a perfect location for taking up pictures of this church. Angkas po. <laughs> Guys, update. We're finally here at Runic. Sour food, beef salpicao, gambas, chili something, fries, and bread. Of course, guys, mango shake. Hope it won't disappoint. <laughs> Let's eat. Something 
And that's it for the episode 1 of my Seeky Horror Vlog series. I hope you guys are loving the video so far. If yes, please don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. So see you guys next week for the next episode of my Seeky Horror Adventure. Bye!